Hey everyone, I'm Marie. This is Llama Life. It's an app that manages your attention, not just your time. In the past 20 years, the average attention span has dropped from 12 seconds to eight seconds, and it's impacting the way we work. Let's experience David's workday. He's a busy entrepreneur and his attention is pulled in many directions. He's tried blocking time on his calendar, but that just allocates time. It doesn't manage his attention during it. So David still ends up getting distracted and the stuff that he needs to get done keeps getting pushed later into the day. So let's see how Llama Life helps. David wants to review his new website design and decides to spend 30 minutes on it. So he types 30 after the task and Llama Life creates a 30 minute focus session, which he customizes with emoji. When he's ready to start, he hits play and the session begins, encouraging focus on the task at hand. And to plan his day, David can queue up multiple sessions like this. This allows him to stay in flow from one to the next and gives a much clearer picture of his day. He can now see his total list time and projected finishing time, which update depending on his progress. And David can also play different soundscapes like beach or forest sounds, see progress with daily reports and create templates for more routine tasks. Compared to other focus tools, we have unique features, but what makes Llama Life stand out is the design. Llama Life is designed for dopamine. Setting up a task is super quick and emoji creates variety and fun. During a task, we give users a challenge, stay focused while that timer is running and on completion, satisfying sound effects and encouragement, keep users like David coming back for more. The business model is a seven day free trial followed by subscription. And we're seeing early signs of product market fit with over 600 paying customers, 10% conversion from free trial to paid, 30% growth month on month with good retention and no marketing spend. The go-to-market is B2C, targeting founders running indie businesses. They're juggling multiple roles, so they're more willing to pay for tools to get stuff done. And they're building in public, so they're generating word of mouth. And what they're talking about is interesting because they're seeing Llama Life as a lifestyle, not just software. And they're imagining what additional products could look like, for example, physical products. It's even being talked about as a verb, so customers are llamaing through tasks. So our vision is to build on this customer love and be the number one brand for mental clarity, focus, and attention at work. In the next 12 months, we'll grow to 15,000 users by integrating with other productivity apps, go from single player mode to multiplayer, and produce premium audio content to help users get into flow. This will lay a strong foundation for our path to 100 million, which involves adding Llama Life for businesses in 2023, with a goal to hit 2,000 businesses and 2 million individual users by 2027. The team is currently myself. I previously built an app that ranked in Apple's top 10 productivity apps. And I've been passionate about solving for attention and focus ever since being diagnosed with ADHD 10 years ago. I'm Marie, this is Llama Life, an app that manages your attention, not just your time. Okay, thanks so much, Marie. Okay, back around to you, David, question for Marie. Congratulations on what looks like a beautiful app. Um, I, I'm curious, it seems to me, watching the demo, that the use case in the demographic and psychographic is probably broader than it may appear, but it also seems to me like potentially the psychographic of people that are thinking about signing up may not be as big as, as people actually will find it valuable. I'm curious, what have you learned about um, people's perception of, do they want something like this? Okay, thank you, David. Diana. Yeah, I mean, so you talked a little bit about your integrations. Does that include calendar syncs? I think so much of us live and die by our calendar. I, I would imagine wanting to use this, but you know, my entire team uses Google Calendar or Microsoft Teams, whatever your team uses. So I would just love to know a little bit about how you think about that working into people's current tools that they're already using. Thank you, Diana. Jeff? Yes, yeah, um, curious just, if you have any idea what converts that 10% that go from free to paid, um, what behaviors or what is pushing them to subscribe? All right, terrific. And let's grab one more, John. Yeah, I'm, I'm just uh, curious again about what you've learned or seen, if you have any user feedback on how they're experiencing the app and, and why they're getting benefit from it. Because I, I can just, I, I go through this problem myself for sure. Like many of us, I can just imagine myself slipping away from this uh, just as easily as I do everything else I've ever tried. So maybe that's just my problem, but I'm wondering if, uh, if your users have given you specific feedback as to why this is performing better for them than other tools they've tried. 
All right, that's great. Um, and we have one from the syndicate. Um, Jackie asked a question, is the 10% conversion considered high or low? Um, and is there a target goal in mind? Okay, you wanna take those, Marie, you have two minutes. All right, um, Diana, so you asked about calendar integration. There's no calendar integration at the moment, but that's certainly something I'm thinking about. Um, integrations is a huge part of the strategy going forward because customer feedback has indicated that Llama Life is very much part of a workflow. So people are still using you know, their own to-do list apps, their own project management apps, and their own calendar apps, but they're transferring tasks into Llama Life to get into flow. Um, so that is, is definitely on the roadmap. Um, Jeff, you asked about why people convert. And I think there was one from the um, syndicate as well. I, I think most people are converting because, you know, in today's world, we're, most of us are working from home and there's a lot of distractions at the moment. And a lot of people are looking to make the best use of their time. So it's not about how many hours you're working. It's more about how efficiently you, you're using those hours. And importantly, how you feel at the end of that. So a lot of our users have indicated that using the product um, does not feel overwhelming and they feel really calm and collected when they're using it. Um, you know, two people can have the same to-do list and get through the same list during the day, but they can end up in very different places in terms of their headspace. One person could feel hectic and stressed and the other person might feel calm and accomplished. And, you know, obviously we're trying to design the product uh, very much for the latter. Um, in terms of, you know, why it performs better than other tools, John, I think the timer has a, a huge part to do with it. So the timer mechanism creates a, a constraint, a positive constraint and a ceiling to work toward for the, for the, the task at hand. And that really helps intensify focus. And that's something that we're, we're really trying to build an experience around. Um, so that's pretty much all the time I have. Um, I'll try to answer more questions in the chat. Thank you everybody for your time.